Today, I'm taking a look at the Adidas Boston 8 after 100 miles. Fourteen point one four miles, eight minutes, thirty nine seconds per mile, taking it nice and easy along the Heritage Trail, going out for a beautiful summer run. Temperatures are a little bit on the low side, humidity was low, absolutely gorgeous conditions out there. And with today's run, I got to the hundred mile mark in the Adidas Boston. Eight. Now, before I get to my thoughts on this video, I do want to go over some disclosures for this particular shoe. This is a pair of shoes that I bought for myself and no one's paying me to make this video. No one's going to have any editorial control or input uh, or get to see the video footage before you guys get a chance to see it live on YouTube. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about this shoe after 100 miles. This shoe, if I could kind of sum it up, it's been a quietly exceptional shoe. I've taken it on everything from a five mile hill climb or hill climb in Chicago all the way up to a 20 mile long run, which was yesterday's footage, the day before the footage that you just saw uh, along, again, the Heritage Trail. So I've taken it on a variety of surfaces from pavement to dirt road and kind of done everything in between. A lot of the miles in this shoe were spent kind of at faster paces in kind of the six to eight mile range. So I've taken it on a variety of different types of run and no matter what I've thrown at this shoe, it always rose to the challenge. Now, in terms of the overall feel of this shoe, uh, a lot of the first impressions that I had with this shoe still remain. The upper is just absolutely fantastic. It is kind of like a, a little bit more of a substantial version of what we saw in the Adios 4 in case you have experience with that shoe. It's a little bit, at least if you look at it on this side, a little bit more old school. The upper is supportive in terms of keeping your foot in place, but still very breathable. There's tons of lacing up top to ensure a, a firm and secure fit. Uh, the heel cup in the back uh, fits around the foot nicely and everything kind of just really worked well. Uh, in terms of the midsole and outsole, even though it looks like there's a lot of boost in the shoe, again, the early impression stayed throughout the 100 miles that I've had with this shoe is that it just didn't ever feel like I was running in a boost shoe. You could have told me that I was running in just an EVA foam shoe, a pure EVA foam shoe, and I would have believed it in this particular shoe because whatever's going on with this EVA layer that's above the boost is just completely insulating me from the boost that's in the shoe and I'm just not feeling that kind of excitement that I was expecting. Maybe that over contributes to the overall sensation I've got for this shoe. Uh, I think that kind of the best way to explain the shoe is that I generally feel the benefits of this shoe after I'm done running in terms of my feet don't hurt, my joints have been feeling great. Uh, I've been feeling great. It's been a higher mileage past couple of weeks and my body has been responding really, really well. And that's because most of the miles in those past two weeks have been in this Boston 8. So overall, it's just been a fantastic daily trainer for me, able to handle shorter, faster days, even medium distance, faster days, and all of my long runs as well. So something that has an incredible amount of versatility and something that I really wasn't expecting uh, from the shoe. In terms of holding up over the 100 miles, if looking at the uh, stretch web uh, outsole pattern, which I, I think is what they're calling this particular continental rubber outsole pattern, uh, it's holding up extremely well. The caveat there being I did spend probably about 35 to 40 of those miles on dirt roads or gravel roads. So uh, it's not gonna be as tough on the rubber as if I'd spent 
all of the 100 miles on summer pavement along the lakefront in Chicago. Uh, but to the extent that uh, we're looking at the outsole, it just it's a little bit dirty because I've been spending so much time in the dirt. But it the rubber is holding up extremely well. The boost is holding up extremely well. It still feels like a brand new shoe to me in terms of the midsole uh, response. It just feels as fresh as the day I had it. Although it doesn't smell all that fresh because it is summertime after all uh, and it does have a little bit of dirt on it it's a shoe that definitely has been used but i've been having a really great time running in this shoe it's just not a shoe that i'm excited to put on for whatever reason uh, and so i've never found myself looking forward to running in this shoe but my body definitely thanked me for it afterwards so those are my thoughts on the adidas boston 8 now before i go for today i do want to talk about a new charity runner that we have for this week this week it's someone that i actually know personally in real life it's my friend bobby buchanan and he's gonna be running the chicago marathon this year raising money for project purple unfortunately project purple is something that has hit extremely close to my friend bobby uh his father passed away uh not that long ago september of 2018 uh, from pancreatic cancer and project purple is working so that people don't have to experience what Bobby and his family uh, Had to go through in terms of losing a loved one to that terrible uh, Terrible disease. So I'm very happy to donate $70 uh, to Bobby's fundraising efforts It's gonna be his first marathon. So if you'd like to learn more about Bobby and uh, His story and his fundraising efforts. I'll post links in the description. That's all I have for today Everybody thanks so much for making it to the end of the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow Yo, what's going on?